What's up guys, I'm Rasen from RossMartech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the for loop, so let's get started. Now the for loop is used to simplify loops and I'll show you exactly what I mean. But let's first start off by writing the syntax of a for loop. Now the for loop we start off by typing in for, hit space, open and close parentheses, hit space, open and close curly brace. Now in between the open and close curly brace, we're gonna hit enter a few times. Now this is the structure and body of our for loop here. And in between this open and close curly brace, we're gonna type in a statement, what we want the loop to do every time it loops. Now inside this open and close parentheses here, we're gonna add three things. We're gonna first give it a value, then we're gonna give it an ending value, then we're gonna tell it how much to increment by. So now we're gonna declare a variable with an integer value inside this loop here. So I'm gonna say int space, I wanna call my variable red, hit space, I want to give my variable a value of zero and end it with a semicolon, right? This is the first part where we're giving uh, the variable a value, right? So this is our starting point. Now our second part here, we're giving it an ending value. So we're going to hit space and we're going to say red is uh, less than, we can use this less than symbol, let's say 10, right? This is our ending value. As long as uh, red is less than 10, the loop is going to continue. Now we're going to add the third part, how much we want to increment by. So we're going to hit space and we're going to say red plus plus we only want it to increment by one so again from the top this is our for loop here this is the structure of a for loop we started off by tapping in for hit space open and close parentheses hit space open and close curly brace inside the open and close uh, parentheses here we typed in three things a starting value an ending value then how much we want it to increment by so in our starting value we initialized a variable we called red and we gave it a value of zero this is the starting value right then here we give it an ending value we said red is less than 10. As long as red is less than 10, the loop keeps going. So then over here is our final one here, and we're saying this is how much we want it to increment by. We want it to increment by one. So now inside this open and close curly brace, we gotta type in a statement, that what we want it to do every time the loop happens. So we're gonna use the system dot out dot print line ln open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon. So inside this uh, open and close parentheses, we're gonna type in our variable name, red. We want to print out the, the value of our variable red, right? So now let's hit play and see what happens. All right, uh, we got an error message because I forgot to add a semicolon after this second argument here, right? When we're testing the conditions, you have to have a, a semicolon here. We have to have a semicolon when we're declaring the variable here. But uh, right here, we don't need to have a semicolon when we're using the increment. It's not needed. So let's hit play again. So we printed out 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It printed out the value of 0 through 9. It printed out 10 things. So the loop happened 10 times. So that for loop is, again, is just basically used to simplify a loop. And you can have all the arguments inside this open and close parentheses. Just give it a starting value, ending value, and how much you want to increment by or decrement by. It doesn't make a difference. You don't, you don't have to increment. And you could give it any uh, condition to test, and you could give it any value, and you can have it do anything inside this open and close curly brace here. You could add any statement, so the sky's the limit, basically. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossMartech.com, and thanks for watching.